In this video, I'll show you how to set up Sidecar so you can use your iPad as a second screen alongside your MacBook. And keep watching as there are many tips throughout the video. There's no additional software or cost required to set up Sidecar. You just have to have a MacBook and iPad which meet the minimum requirements which you can see on screen now. If you pass these, then there are four quick steps to get this set up. We'll run through each of those now. First off, the MacBook and iPad need to be signed in with the same Apple ID and have two-factor authentication enabled. On the Mac, we go to the Apple logo in the top left, then to System Settings, and from here, we click on Apple ID and sign in with your Apple ID. You'll see below an option for two-factor authentication. Make sure that's enabled. On the iPad, we go to Settings, and again, we go up to here, which is the Apple ID location, click that and sign in. Secondly, we need to enable universal control so you can use the MacBook's mouse and keyboard on the iPad. This action is only done on the MacBook. For this, within System Preferences, we now go to Display, Advanced, and make sure we have the first two options enabled. Allow your pointer and keyboard to move between any nearby Mac or iPad push through the edge of a display to connect to a nearby Mac or iPad. Once that's done, click Done. Thirdly, make sure Wi-Fi is turned on for both devices and they are on the same Wi-Fi network. On the MacBook, you can go to System Settings again and up to Wi-Fi. On the iPad, again in Settings, we go up to Wi-Fi and confirm we have the same Wi-Fi network. And lastly, we need to make sure Bluetooth is turned on. Bluetooth is just below Wi-Fi, so just click there and make sure it's enabled. And also on the iPad, Bluetooth is just below Wi-Fi. The two devices need to be within 10 meters of each other and neither device can be sharing its data connection while using Sidecar. Okay, that's all the paperwork out of the way. Let's get connected with Sidecar. On the map, go up to the control center, then screen mirroring and select your iPad. This initiates the connection and now you can see my mouse can traverse across the two. It's just a simple to move an app as well. Simply drag it across to the iPad and drag back when you're ready. There's also another way you can hover over the green button and go to move to iPad. Hover over it again whilst on the iPad and go to move back to Mac. If that doesn't work for some reason, it may be that the screen is maximized, the app is maximized. When you hover over it, you don't get that option. Simply click it, click away, click the app, and hover again to reveal that option. Moving across to the iPad, there is a touch bar running along the top and a sidebar down the left-hand side. Both of these are controlled by physical touch, and I'll show you what the buttons do, and then I'll show you how you can remove the two bars to create more room for yourself. The first button hides the menu bar when looking at a window full screen. The second button displays or hides the toolbar on the iPad. The next set of buttons are the Command, Option, Control and Shift buttons. Here we have the Undo button and this button gives us an on-screen keyboard. And this button is used to disconnect your sidecar session. Let's reconnect by going to the Control Center, Screen Mirroring and selecting our iPad. Now, if you want to go back to your iPad without closing the session, all you need to do is swipe up like so. You'll notice that it places a sidecar icon here and you can press that to reconnect. You can also get back to your iPad by slow swiping up like so and selecting an app or going back to your home screen. Okay, let's go back to the main screen. There are a couple more useful tips I'd like to share. If you drag a window, for example, Brave across to your iPad, then go to a web page. You can use two finger gestures to scroll up and down. It's not as smooth as the iPad, as you can see, but it is effective. You can also use the Apple Pencil with some supported apps, like so. And here's how to change the position of the iPad screen in relation to the MacBook. For this, we go up to the Apple logo, down to System Settings, Displays, and here we can see iPad and MacBook. 
If I want to change this position, I go to Arrange, and I simply place the iPad screen in a different location. Once you're finished, click Done. And here we have a few more options. If you click on the MacBook, you can see this is the main display. I could change that if I wish. Also, when you click on the iPad, you can see that it is being used as an extended display. I can disconnect from here, and there are some options for touch bar and sidebar. And to start Sidecar quickly, the time-saving tip is to hover over your green button here, Go to move to iPad and it will automatically initiate the sidecar connection. And finally, you can use sidecar by connecting the iPad directly to the MacBook with a cable. And this means you don't need to have Wi-Fi or Bluetooth enabled. And the added benefit is the iPad is charged while the cable is connected. So that's how you connect your iPad as a second display with sidecar. If you found the video useful, please give the video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to see more how-tos, reviews and more.